some creative jobs maybe will go away, um, but maybe they shouldn't have been there in the first place. Oh boy. Welcome back to Deaton Street. I'm Zach. He's Dustin. We're going to get right into it. OpenAI does not care about creators. They've proven this time and time again. This last clip was just another example. I think it's safe to say that maybe they are doing things behind the scenes that don't particularly have creators or creative people's best interest in mind. Dustin? Well, they are taking their jobs. They took our job. Basically, they are. They have fully. I don't say fully. They've admitted to AI will start to take creators' jobs, in particular creators, because of this interview. Uh, but I mean, that doesn't stop there. Uh, it, it can branch off to whatever tech job you think you need or think you have. It might be replaced by AI in the future, in the very near future. I think it's important to to re recognize that this conversation is developing. It's ongoing. When OpenAI started talking about things like this, it was, you know, there's no need for concern. This is a tool. Now it's like, uh, well, maybe it will start to take some jobs, but it's going to it's going to create opportunity and those jobs will really just change instead of taking it. But now mm -hmm. she's full on saying the whole thing, which is basically OpenAI Sora may take creatives jobs, but those jobs aren't that good anyway. And maybe they shouldn't have been jobs in the first place. And that it's really the job's fault. Pull. It's not our fault for creating this technology. It's yeah, that, that I remember watching it and, 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 and shooting you a text and be like, oh, no, 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 no. Maybe the job shouldn't be there in the first place. What do you mean? Like, oh, okay. I'm sorry. Sora can, Sora can do much better than, than we can, right? Yeah, that was, it's a weird kind of angle to justify what they're doing or at least justify their goals, right? Mm -hmm. Is that, the jobs they're going to be taking shouldn't exist because the quality of work, the quality of content that those jobs are putting out isn't great. Last I checked, when real people film a Toys R Us uh, commercial, the actor's face is the same in every shot. Uh, the hands work normally. Last uh, I checked, to be a Toys R Us kid, you actually had to be a real kid. Right. So it, it's it's weird to say that these jobs shouldn't exist in the first place because now we're talking about folks like our animator friends mm -hmm. or actors. Yep. Maybe actors shouldn't exist because we can just voice throw actors. them into – Yeah, voice actors. Uh, I mean, we can go past creative jobs. We could oh, even yeah. go to, I don't know, coders, programmers. Maybe those jobs shouldn't exist because the quality of stuff that they're putting out is not good. The list goes on. Cybersecurity. Right. I know that one all too well. Right. You know? Privacy. Maybe they should be doing privacy analysis. Yeah. yeah who just, who we... needs employees anymore when we have AI? So let's recap real quick some of the things that have been going on with OpenAI Sora, but also OpenAI in general. So the first topic that we talked about on this channel was the fact that OpenAI, or specifically Mira, which is the CT CTO of OpenAI, mm -hmm. would not admit whether or not Sora was being trained on YouTube videos. I'm, I'm just not going to go into the details of, of the data that was, that was used. Right. So we have that clip. You can go watch that video. We'll link this in the description. I'm actually not sure about that. The next thing that we covered was kind of the same topic, but this time Sam Altman, their CEO, also would not admit whether or not they were using YouTube to train AI, open AI or Sora spe specifically, mm -hmm. except he kind of danced around it and said, well, if we are, we probably should figure out some type of payment structure for those creators. I haven't seen a payment structure. Me neither. So now we've moved past, okay, so maybe we're using your work to train our program, but once our program learns how to do your work that we're totally stealing in order to train it, your work is going to be lowered in quality so much that your job is pretty much useless. Yeah, yeah, we needed you to train the, the system, but now that we have that, like, eh, mm -hmm. forget your job. Yeah, we're, we're going to do a much better job. Don't worry about it. 
So I will, I will kind of divert here just a tad and say, at least Adobe had the decency to put out a terms of service to let everyone know (laughs) that they were stealing (laughs) things. We're just going to go there for the, but you know, they're, they're kind of doing it. Open AI is doing it behind the scenes and they've just like, Oh, we might be doing that. Just like you said, we, we may, well, actually, no, it may take your job now. To defend Adobe even more, which we have not been doing on this channel the last couple no. of weeks, but heck, I'll give them a little bone here. At yeah. least they are stealing from their users. Yes. OpenAI is just stealing from the internet at large. So yep. we, we think, we should, legal reasons, we, think. we should say we think. We think. Uh, we yeah. think. Right. Uh, they won't admit it. That we're just going off of the things that they won't admit. Yeah. So in the past, we've talked about, you know, my excitement for using Sora. These comments every single time that they come out, it just makes me less and less excited for these project products. And mm-hmm. it makes me realize that they don't care. So we have to care. Yep. So I kind of want to get your, your thought on this before we kind of move into our last little section here. Where are you at? Are you, we've talked. Are you are you out on Sora? The, Is it- the, you know, whenever we started the whole Sora thing, it, oh, I was like, man, I don't know. You're like, oh, I think I'll try it out. I was like, well, I might, I might try it out just a little bit. I'm never going to use it, you know, professionally or anything like that. That's just not what that's not what I like to do. The more and more AI stuff that comes out, as cool as it is, the sketchiness of it is just so off-putting it it keeps they they basically dig in themselves their own grave at this point and they just keep going deeper for me for me personally i don't know about anybody else they just do some real scummy things and i'm, I'm not for it you know yeah and i think the reality is that these are going to be powerful tools there are going to be people and studios that use them to gain an Mm -hmm. advantage, especially monetarily. You know, these large studios are going to start using Sora for things that they would pay graphic designers or VFX artists, sorry, uh, to do. Mm -hmm. So this stuff is an inevitability, but that doesn't mean that we can't cause a little fuss. We can't cause a little ruckus about it. And so we're going to continue to make videos as this stuff comes out. I do... think the one overarching theme that we can really solidify this video with (laughs) and we we know for sure is that Mira, the CTO, should not be speaking in public anymore. I'm actually not sure about that. Nope. Puts her foot in her mouth every single time she talks. Um, It's She seems very professional in like her technology role and she seems, I, I don't know if she's a good person or not, but I do know that she seems to say the wrong things all the times in these interviews. Yeah. The the main thing that I, I caught in this one, this specific one we watched was the fact that she was like, well, AI is probably going to take the creator's jobs away. And then, but, but five minutes later, she said, well, we don't know, you know, if it'll take jobs away, but it may create new jobs. Hold on a minute. How did you, how did you backpedal so fast? It just she, didn't. I don't think she knows what she's, Talking about, I, I think that's, that's the problem with being on the cutting edge of any technology is that you mm-hmm. can speculate what it's going to do, but yep. she's kind of talking out both sides of her mouth. Like, yeah. So oh, they need to, they need to take the mic away from her. Honestly, probably Sam Altman too. He's had some yep. pretty bad uh, things that he's kind of let slip about um, using YouTube videos and that type of thing. Maybe they should hire a PR team. So just let us know in the comments what you think about any of our opinions on this. Uh, Are you excited about all the job loss that AI is going to produce for us? Are you kind of curious about the new jobs that it's going to produce? I know I am. But uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Peace. See ya.